What's happening? Looks like we've lost some of the drill teeth down the hole. We'll have to pull the drill bit up and send the junk bucket down. How long is this going to take, Paul? Two days, three. Oh, terrific. If we hadn't changed the angle, it wouldn't have happened. If we hadn't changed the angle, we would have drilled a very expensive dry hole. Jess, phone call for you. It's Nick on the phone. He's in Anchorage. <laughs> I'll take it back. I'm fine. Thanks. The last time you were here, you were nearly killed by wolves. I'm more likely to be savaged by one of the drillers. I want to look after you. I don't need looking after. And the baby! So stop shouting. My child as well. The stress you're putting on me will go straight to the baby. It'll associate you with shouting and stress. I want you to come home. You want me padding barefoot round the flat for nine months? Remember, you've just invited a family of five to live in it. Just for a few days. So what are you gonna do? Kick Rachel's kids out into the street. I signed a contract. Resign. Normal women don't give up work because they're five weeks pregnant. Normal women don't have to call a chopper when they want a bar of chocolate. Chocolate's not good for the baby. You're acting like this is nothing. Not nothing. We wanted this to happen for so long. I know. I thought it was gonna break us. It's just... It's normal. The whole world will change for a certain period of time until we find a solution to the problem. We would need to adapt, and over time we will adapt. of aspirin. You better try not to give me any more headaches then. If we can't use oil for transportation and we have no available alternative, then either people will be stranded on the outskirts of these massive middle American cities like Minneapolis, or these cities will have to be made much more compact. Living will have to go from being horizontal and spread out to being vertical, in which you have communities that can be navigated on foot. This whole system will have to be reorganized in order to live in a world without readily available oil. Leaving the driveway. I'm not leaving a shopping cart in the driveway. It will look like white trash.
Did he say anything about redundancy? Pretty sure I got any money. We can spend more time together. I used to say, if I quit working, you'd leave before I start driving me crazy hanging around the house. I was joking, John. It's a joke. And when John's faced with this crisis that he can't really manage, he's going to respond by going back to the sorts of behaviours that he's been comfortable with. And when he finds that doesn't work, he's going to feel quite desolate. As 2016 reaches its climax, $160 a barrel will force us to really rethink our lives. We won't be able to make casual trips and unnecessary trips, we'll have to start planning our day around our fuel consumption and trying to drive as little as possible. People will have to start buying new cars and realizing that when they go to buy new cars because they can't afford to operate their old SUVs, they won't be able to sell their old SUVs. Good for automakers in Detroit and in Germany, Japan, not good for anybody else. Want to stop and get a coffee? John? No. K News AM 970 gas update. We are getting calls with news that all the downtown gas stations are now dry. We'll be until next Monday at the earliest. There is a long, long line in Medicine Lake, but if you're lucky, there is still fuel to be found at some of the out-of-town gas stations on 35 West and East, and if you're quick, on I-10 up at Lino Lakes. Uh, too far. We got Nancy on the line. Nancy, where are you? I'm in Columbia Heights in my car at the Pro Stop. And are you having a gas there, Nancy? I'm having a gas, Pete. I just drove right in here and I'm pulling away with a full tank. No line John. at the Pro Stop on Cleveland mm. at 37th Avenue. Nancy, that is a top tip. Your name is in our big prize draw on Friday's drive time for that free tank of gas. And if you're the lucky winner, well, as Spencer Davis said, you'll certainly be able to keep on running. Keep on running. Oh, thank you, Nancy. I think we're getting there. How thick is it? We've drilled down about 80 meters. Tell them to stop. We should take a core. Petrol has now reached £2.35 a litre. Panic buying continues to force up gas prices across the state. With oil now costing $160 a barrel, motorists are paying twice as much to fill up as they were just six months ago. We will have had to rapidly change the way we actually move people and goods. If we don't coordinate that, we'll have fist fights all the time of one neighbor actually getting in line before the next neighbor and one city getting in line before the next city. The cities that are closest to the oil supply will take it first. We'll have war. Every bad war we've had the last century has been fought over energy. What keeps me away at night is a much higher price of oil. You cannot live with a price way above a hundred of dollars. You cannot at all. And that's enough. And it's not only you. I think China will collapse. India will be in a disaster. The same thing with Japan. The whole world economy. Europe, America, everyone.